If you've watched my coverage of Puyo Pop Fever for the GameCube, the weird slime annihilating puzzle fest that somehow got Sega and Atlas in bed together, then the chances are you're already familiar enough with the concept. But this DS version puts the heralded puzzle action into your pocket where the best puzzle action belongs. Like IQ Mania on the PSP, which we never got here in the States, and I'm totally not bitter. But anyway, some have expressed that the weird sideways panning and strange camera effects of the GameCube version rubbed them the wrong way. Well, this DS outing can't be arsed. Sure, the set em up and knock em down fever mode remains, but without the nausea inducing visual effects. Seriously, it was like Puyo Puyo meets Laugh In. The Puyo Pop fever spread to most consoles in Japan and Europe, while here in the States we only got the GameCube and DS versions. That said, this portable offering serves up pretty much everything its console cousin did. Story modes of varying difficulties, mission mode, fever mode, a classic endless mode, and a shrill girl in a giant Puyo-shaped hat who keeps exclaiming that things are wicked like she's at a Pats game. Rather unfortunately, her vocal performance as well as the voices of everyone else she happens to run into while enacting her cute, slimy kill wish, are included, so you might want to turn the audio down if you don't want to constantly have your ears blown out by, well, this. But audio inconvenience be damned, it's still a portable Poyo and it's still an entertaining game. This is one of those evergreen puzzle series that, with just a new coat of paint, is ready to go for a new generation. Because the mechanics are, were, and will continue to be tight and sound. But what the DS adds is, say it with me, download play. It's the most awesome part of the DS. You can broadcast the download to your nearby friends and don't have to worry about having enough GameCube controllers. It's a boon to any puzzle game like this, and it's really the only thing that the DS offers the Poyo experience. Throughout most of the game, the bottom screen just shows the faces of the characters involved, or maybe some statistical information if you're doing a challenge mode. All the action takes place up top, preventing a split through the middle of the playfield like Mr. Driller inflicted. So put on a podcast or two, turn down the sound, and keep your eyes on the next Poyos to fall, because I got a fever, and the prescription is... 200 milligrams of ibuprofen, a cold compress, and plenty of fluids. Mm-hmm.